Hello, and welcome to another video by the Danfoss Software PE team. This is Ryan, and today I'm going to be giving an introduction to the RCT Function Block Library. The Danfoss RCT product line consists of remote control transmitters and receivers. The RCT Function Block Library focuses on integrating the TM80 family of RCT products into machines using other Danfoss Plus One hardware and software using CanOpen and J1939 communications. When you order your RCT product and use the RCT configuration tool to design your remote control, a configuration file will be created. The RCT configuration.xml file will be used in guide and has the function calls that define the inputs and outputs and should not be modified. You can use the plus one update center to subscribe to the RCT function blocks and install them. There are three RCT function blocks, the System Receive, Display Receive, and Display Transmit. The System block receives signals from the remote control to be used in your ECU application. The two Display blocks receive and transmit signals to and from the display that is on the remote control. Not all remote controls will have a display. There is also a user manual. When you drag a block into an application and guide, there will be a confirmation that pops up asking if you want to add the default dependency files to your project. It is recommended to add these files and then replace them with the configuration file you receive from Danfoss. The configuration file will create the POUs that drive the inputs and outputs for the block. To replace the default files, in the Project Manager, right-click on the default RCT configuration file and delete it. Then right click on the PLC units and select Add Existing PLU and select the PLU you received from Danfoss. Without the RCT function blocks, users would need to receive the CAN open messages, decode the arrays, and translate the signals to be used in their application. The RCT function blocks do this for us. Documentation from Danfoss to customers purchasing RCT transmitters provides the defined information needed for the RCT blocks to receive the messages and decode the arrays. Depending on your application, you may need to do some translating of the analog signals, like scaling. The production sheet you receive from Danfoss for the RCT transmitter will show the layout and have hardware schematics. My transmitter has three paddles with north and south directions. For my example, I'm going to use only paddles A and B. In the data sheet, I can see my north and south maneuver values M2 and M3 for A and M18 and M19 for B. Here's an example of a two-axis joystick. It will have north, south, east, and west directions. These will be defined by maneuver values. On an RCT transmitter, each joystick will have a Boolean value for each direction, but only one analog value for each X and Y axis. The center of each axis is zero and the analog value goes to 255 in each direction. There are no negative values. The maneuver values will be listed in the object section of the production sheet. There will also be data to indicate the Boolean and analog signals in the output of the RCT function blocks and guide. Here's an example of adding the RCT system receive block to an application. The application has joystick inputs to drive outputs to valves. I have put in a selector page using switches to switch between the joysticks and the paddles on my RCT transmitter. I also have checkpoint components throughout my application so I can monitor the activity in the service tool. When I take a wire and connect to the output bus of the RCT system receive block, I can see the list of signals created by the configuration.xml I added in the PLC units earlier. I have taken the signals I need for my propel and steering to my dual path application, renamed them to my liking, performed some math for the south and west values so they are negative, and scaled them from 0 to 255 to negative 10,000 to positive 10,000. This will drive my left pump speed and right pump speed. I have created a service tool screen to monitor my checkpoints. When I move paddle A up or north, we can see the status change and the FR Y axis value increment. This results in both my left and right pump speed incrementing. As I steer right and left, my pump speeds decrease accordingly.
The display transmit and receive blocks work similar to the system receive block. When you order a remote control system from Danfoss, you will work with Danfoss to determine the screens and each screen will have objects in a predefined layout. These objects will also be defined in the PLU configuration file. The display blocks will be used to send and receive signals to update those objects, make them viewable, or change the text and values. This will be done with a list of commands defined in the manual. All the inputs need to be driven by the application. An input that has not changed will not be updated. The commands information in the blocks and in the manual are used to determine which commands to use to perform display actions like update text, set values, set visibility, or change colors. The PLU will have the predefined objects listed. The block buses will contain the same signals that are defined in the PLU. An updated signal value will update the display object. We hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, the applications the Danfoss Software Group shares are mainly for demonstration. Although we want them to be as real of an example as possible, they are not always fully functional. In designing an application for a production system and meets any needed safety standards usually requires much more than what we present. For more information on Plus One Software, please remember to visit our forum or help desk. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our latest video releases. Thank you for watching.